Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. When I shot my last video, which I didn't up upload yet, I had mentioned to you that I would be talking to you about an exciting new product. So here it is, the Lux Power Hybrid Inverter. Before I show you the front of it, the front, let me start with the back. As you can see, this baby has a massive heat sink. Measure for me, please. Okay, and this thing is huge. I didn't think it was this big. I didn't think it was this big, but the thing is huge. So, um, it's about how many? One and almost a little more than one and a half feet wide. So, this is what? One, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, almost nineteen inches wide. That is big. That is big, 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 big. So I'm pretty psyched. Um, let me show you what it came with and then I'll show you what the, what the inverter looks like. So one of the things I appreciate about this manufacturer is they went out of the way to label everything. So here was here, very simple, it's the communication. Yeah, this is the Wi-Fi. This here is the CT clamp and it's labeled somewhere. Just take my word for it that they labeled it CT clamp. They did label it, I saw the label before. And this one is for the battery can. If you're going to do, um, if you're going to have it talk to the battery. And we ordered batteries that it could talk to, so this will allow it to communicate with the battery. They went out of the way to do your PV positive. They also did a PV negative. PV negative, I mean, I mean who goes through all this expense to do this for you? And then this, um, they didn't tell me what this is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Hmm? Um, RJ45, in event we decide to build our own cables, which we won't do. Because that's one, I don't, the less complication I give my people, the better. EPS connector, so this is the side that goes to power the house from the inverter. AC connector, this is the side that comes from the grid. And then they give you your battery positive. No, yes, battery negative battery positive and then they give you um, the studs to mount this on the wall it's amazing that they give you everything including your little screwdriver thing, including your little wrench thing your allen key and then this is the bracket with which you used to mount it onto the wall and then this is the front cover to maintain that water waterproof while it's moisture proof I wouldn't dunk it in water so over here um, is your grid, your EPS, and then these are your communication, um, your CAN, or RJ485, right? CAN, and then for your CT meter, which I showed you earlier, and then when I figure these out, I'll tell you what they are. There is a DC disconnect, DC switch, um, on and off position, and then your batteries, and then here is your PV1, PV2. PV1 can handle 4,000 watts, PV2 can handle 4,000 watts. And then here is your basic specs on the inverter. It's a hybrid. Um, it's called your max DC voltage is 550, and your MPP voltage is 120 to 500. Um, the max you can do as far as PV current is 13.7 for each of the um, controllers, and your max DC power is 8,000 watts. 230, 50, 60, so it's switchable. You could do 30, 230 volts, either 50 or 60 hertz. And max continuous AC current is 25 amps, which is about competitive with what we see with the Victron 5 kV inverter. Nominal AC power is 5,000, power factor of one. I'm so excited about this stuff, you know. So it's rated IP65, so for outdoor use. Like I said, look at the size of the heat sink on this baby. There are no cooling fans. And especially here in Nigeria where it gets really dusty, you don't want something pulling all that crap into your inverter component. Could you lay this flat for me, please? Gently, without us cracking or breaking anything. So this is what it looks this is what it looks like from the front. Brushed. It looks like brushed aluminium. I, I can't begin to tell you how excited I am about this stuff. I really can't. So next week we're going to take it through its spaces, we'll connect it. I use it on our Nissan Leaf batteries and then we'll give you some feedback as to how much we like it. I'm very, very excited. I mean, I'm beyond excited. Um, well, once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. 
If you're here to subscribe, please click the subscribe subscribe button. And if you want to get notification uh, each time I post a video, click on the bell icon. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos.